Hey everyone, as you can see I am back in Tokyo, back here in Shibuya and I hope you guys can understand me, it's a little bit loud here but I wanted to quickly give you my thoughts on ramen bar slurp uh, First off, they told me they are uh, a part of Kikuya a ramen restaurant, or sorry, a Japanese restaurant in Stuttgart and since a lot of people were keeping uh, ordering ramen there uh, they said it was not ideal and they wanted to spin off and make like a ramen restaurant instead of just serving uh, ramen in their Japanese restaurant. So I understand the effort. Um, what I don't fully understand is like how they came up with their menu. A lot of it uh, seems to be um, very creative, uh, stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, some actually looks pretty good. I think their tantan men look pretty good on their menu at least. I, I didn't go for that because I think tantan men is a little bit difficult to judge because it's it's not that difficult to make it um, tasty uh, because you can use a lot of like pre-mixed stuff. Um, so I went for a bowl of ramen, they, they call it Gyuniku ramen, um, which is, um, how can I describe it? It's something I thought I tasted before, um, but more like in a in a Chinese beef noodle way, or like in a very thin Tori Python way, or like a pho that has not been spiced very well. So it, in the end, it, it ended up being like a mix of uh, a very thin Tori Python with a little bit of beef flavor in there, but not necessarily in a, in a good way. I, I thought the the soup was lacking a lot of things uh, that are difficult to describe, mainly maybe MSG or a little bit more cooking time. Um, it, it's definitely a flavor that I've never had in Japan. I don't think it exists anywhere like this and I'm, I'm not sure if that is the, the best way to go at it. They told me they're, um, they're not using pork at all. I don't think that's really an excuse or like a, a point to make when I'm asking like what's what's in the broth, but you know it's it's a little bit something else. It wasn't terrible. It was definitely edible. I finished it all. Uh, I was also very hungry. Um, but let's go to the other elements. Um, the noodles were very good. However, they were they were absolutely boiled to death. So they were very soft, but I could uh, I could feel I could taste that there's uh, definitely some noodle knowledge there. And uh, it's it's a tragedy that they um, overboil their noodles so terribly. They're also not fitting well together with the soup that they're uh, creating there. So it's a it's a little bit sad. The on the other hand, the meat was really really good. Um, again, nothing I had ever tasted in Japan. It was like really spiced up uh, beef. I think that's what they put in the soup. That's where the, the beef flavor comes from. Um, if I had just gotten like a, a, a bowl of rice with just that meat on top, um, I would have been probably a very happy person. Uh, let's go to the other topics, because the other topics were even more questionable um, than, than the soup itself. Uh, the egg was probably the worst egg I ever had. It was super salty. Um, forget about the consistency, but like it was so straight up salty. It was like, like straight up eating out of a salt shaker. Um, the raw carrots on top, I mean, I think there's a good reason why raw carrots are not part of the topping uh, culture here in Japan. I didn't think they fit well. I don't think raw carrots are necessarily a good ramen topping. So here again, um, very questionable. Overall, I'm, it's, 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 it's sad because um, talking to them they were really nice I think they really put some thought into their concept um, I, I think they're really missing a certain reference point that is just important to know like what good ramen tastes like or what it should taste like what it can taste like and I think if you're looking into in just Stuttgart then you can actually take a look at what um, umami does and they're they're having a good reference point um, not only because they're Japanese, just you can you can see it, you can taste it, that they know what good ramen should taste like. And uh, that's definitely not the case at Slurp. They're doing their own thing, which is fine. Uh, but for me personally, uh, that had nothing to do with ramen. 
uh, as I know it. Therefore, I can't really give it a high rating. I would maybe give it like a 3.5 because it was definitely edible. It was it was not bad. It didn't make me want to like ask for my money back. The, the meat was was very good. I wish they, they, they developed their ramen concept a little bit more. If I ever go there again, I would probably go for their Tan Tan Men um, because, yeah, as I said, it's hard to screw up and it looked really good on the on the pictures. So maybe that's something to go for if you live in the area and really want to give this one a try. And yeah, that's all from me and that's all from my Germany and Europe trip. I'm back in Japan now, so expect more videos from Japan and about ramen in Japan. And that's all from me for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.